It'll be expensive, no doubt about that. Now, News 9's Deanne Stein also live on the scene. And Deanne, that oil coming close to several homes there. It's really close, Carl, Amanda, and this is fairly new housing addition. So luckily, several of the homes here you see backing up to the spill were empty. But for those who were home, they tell me they couldn't believe what they were seeing. We always enjoyed the view of the sunflowers out here, not today. Because for Alice Bush, that view outside her back door is polluted with a fountain of black oil. Just oils pouring out of the ground. I'm wondering what do I need to be doing to protect my house mm -hmm. and my belongings. So she turned on her water sprinklers. Just to keep the ground wet, just in case. Did it make it to your backyard at all? No, it's not to our backyard at all. Yeah, but it's close. Really close. This is a video of it when it first started. Her husband sent this warning to their neighbors. You can see the oil just going and going and going, and it's going right there behind your house, guys. We talked to other people in the Grove neighborhood who watched the scene from their yards. I was concerned at first because it was flowing towards my house. But then when I got up on the mound of dirt and saw that they had um, built quite a dike around it, you know, with the excavator, I knew then that they, they had it under control. Even though crews worked to cap the leak, these neighbors still have questions about the lasting effects of the oil that did escape. Just the environment. I mean, um, how's it going to affect my water, you know? And yeah, and us personally. Oh, it's going to take days because all of that dirt's contaminated now and that all has to come out and depending on how far down that it um, seeped into the ground and how much got into the storm drain, I, I don't envy who's responsible. Now, officials tell us there's no immediate danger to the people who live here and the cleanup could take months. Live in Northwest Oklahoma City, Dan Stein, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.